Before the election, you urged Speaker Pelosi to accept President Trump's offer. You've done your homework. <laughs> on the COVID stimulus package. You said, quote, people in need can't wait until February. 1.8 trillion is significant and more than twice Obama stimulus. Pelosi shut you down. She said, quote, Ro Khanna, that's nice. <laughs> that isn't what we're going to do. Why do you think Pelosi refused to take that deal before the election? My guess would be that she thought we would win the Senate and, and we would have a bigger majority in the House and that we would quickly be able to get uh, everything we wanted. I think if she had known that we wouldn't win the Senate, uh, maybe it would have been a different calculation. So do you urge her to take the deal now, assuming if it's, we get, get 1.8 on trillion? Yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, I right. think we would definitely right. uh, want to, to make the deal. It's going to be catastrophic if we don't. So by your own, what you just said, what Pelosi decided to do was catastrophic. It had a catastrophic think, effect I, on people's lives. First of all, it's not clear that McConnell would have allowed for that deal to go through, right? I mean, that was a, a part of the, the issue. But uh, the, our failure, our collective failure to get that stimulus uh, could prove to be a, a big mistake in American history. But what history. you're saying is it was a collective failure. You actually blame your side as well. It was a collective failure. I think that's what the voters said. I think there was a, a failure. I, I blame McConnell most for not even being part of the process. But uh, I'm not one to sort of cast individual blame. I think well, you just did. Well, McConnell most, because that's factual.